What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another big episode of Big Flipping Bass. As always, I'm Nolan Morris, and today we got our MTV Pro Box Slam for the month of August. bottom of the mouth. Really bright colors to it. Nice gold blade too. Should work well. Pound and a half on a three pound head. Real skinny. Look, this is on my lightest action rod I have. Ah. 
solid. It's probably a pound and a half, maybe pushing two. Got a belly on him. All right, let's move on to the next crankbait. This one dies a little bit deeper. Let's see what we can do with this one. I like doing that too. Sometimes I like coming out here and just putting on stuff that I don't normally use. Just see if I can catch anything on it. There's another one. Oh yeah, he feels good too. Decent again. Oh, he's a good one. He might be about three, two and a half. He's got some weight to him. Nice. There he goes. He hit it on the downfall. <laughs> a little better. small one but <laughs> that knocks out that one actually that knocks out two of them knocks out the blade and it knocks out the exo stick and then there was one oh. all right so we just got through well earlier today we went out and finished up our mtv slam i went out with my dad i said i was gonna try to have this video out by saturday or sunday unfortunately it's been pouring down rain for a week straight now or ever since then um and it was raining early day, but it finally stopped for a little bit. He wanted to go, I wanted to go, so I was like, well, I'm going to go ahead and take out my camera and knock out the slam if I can. Um, sorry for the noise if you hear it. There's a thousand frogs croaking in the background right now. It's super loud, but it's late. I'm outside. I thought this would be a good place I can come film my outro a little bit and uh, not get interrupted. Um, pretty productive day on the water, considering the summertime. We, the water temperature has been here. has been running about 95, 96 plus i think in some areas um just because it's so hot so i wasn't too upset with the rain I, we needed it the water was really low the water was really hot now the water le level is like super high so even with the docks on a lot of places and uh this down to like in the mid 80s so it dropped like 10 degrees from the rain which is awesome summertime if the water cools down like that you're gonna get bites so uh between me and my dad today we call I think 14 no 13 yeah we caught 13 and uh we were only out there from about 5 30 to about 8 30 so three hours 13 fish not bad um they were pretty decent fish we did catch a couple small ones and i'll go ahead and tell you at the end of the video here i apologize um for the one where you just see me like reeling the fish in and stuff that uh, my gopro was dying so i was just trying to let you see that i at least caught the fish on the bait so the last two I didn't really catch on camera until like mid catch or bringing them in, which was with the exo worm and the um, beaver, the uh, Buddha Bates beaver, a uh, Buddha Bates company beaver. Uh, so, uh, but we're going to briefly go over what I was using, what I was throwing, what was in the box, and officially do an unboxing kind of thing at the end of this video here, and then I'll show you what rods I was throwing it on. Uh, so let's crack this open. I got a bunch of baits in here from what I was using before, and I took off my rods. Um, that's the Buddha bait beaver and uh, I tried throwing this a ton of different ways actually including uh, a wobble head style um, I was I got a couple of bites I think I got one or two bites with it like that I tried throwing it on a Texas rig before rated line on a heavy action ride even though I didn't really need it and uh, 
I missed them. So since I was missing them, it was almost like my uh, ride was blow or my hook set was blowing the weight and the bait out of the uh, fish's mouth. So I decided to go with something a little better for that. And I threw it on this one right here. Basic Texas rig. I think this is a quarter ounce tungsten weight. I didn't peg it. It's free sliding. Um, this is a three or four. I think this is a four out. Yeah, this is a four out extra, uh, wide gap offset worm hook. And this is my Abu Garcia Pro Max rod and reel combo. It's a seven foot medium heavy, seven one to one gear ratio, 15. No, this is actually 20 pound fluorocarbon. Um, this is what I use for like jigs and chatter baits a lot of times, stuff like that. So I got a little extra heavy line. That's what I'll flip with mirror docks and an instruction and stuff like that. So I kind of use this like a flipping stick. Uh, and if I'm not flipping in a too heavy of cover, if, I, if it's real heavy mats or cover, I'm going to use that heavy flipping stick. But uh, for just general flipping around docks and stuff like that, where I don't have to worry about too much structure, I'm going to use this rod with this extra heavy line on it. Um, so I was successful with that. It gave me a little bit more bend in the rod. I think that allowed me to hook the fish better and keep him from blowing that out of his mouth. Um, that's probably one of my favorite rod and reel combos, more than likely. Um, let's see. So we got the that was the they're called the baby mama is the um, beaver bait, and that's by Buddha Bait Company. Okay, and then we got the uh, Exo Stick Pro. And of course, this is my bio spawn. I have some of these already, and they sent me some more, which is really cool. I like them. This is a black and blue stick style bait. It has some rivets in it there, you can see. Kind of displaces the water a little bit. And they have their own unique scent to them, the Exo scent. So they're really greasy. You can see the oil on my hands, maybe. Yeah. Um, and then I paired that. Again, I think that was another 3 alt wide gap worm hook. And I also paired it with something else that came in the box. I'll just show you because I have it tied on. Yeah. This is a Shimano Worm and Jig Rod, actually. It's a 7.2 medium heavy. And this is a Lude Speaceful Reel. 7 3 to 1 gear ratio, I think. 15 pound fluorocarbon. Again, I've done a basic Texas rig with this. Another quarter ounce tungsten weight. 3 alt or 4 alt. Wide gap offset worm hook. You can see I still got the worm on there. I haven't even taken it off yet. And then the little spinner that comes in there, the uh, Intruder XO Blade Willow. I have, uh, sorry, I got a text. I have a um, bat screwed into the bottom of it, just like that. And basically, what I'll do is just cast it out, let it sink to the bottom, pop it off the bottom, and swim it back. So that spinner bait behind it will create a lot of vibration in the water, a lot of uh, light reflection, and a lot of commotion and hone in on them. I got several bites on it. And then we were successful catching one little one on it again. That was at the end of the video. Those two were. So you couldn't really see a whole lot other than me reeling the fish in. Um, next we have the DT Fat. Rapala. And then this one dives, I believe. Let me find the box here. Yeah, this one dives. Uh, it says three feet. But with those several areas where we're in four or five feet of water, and I was still scrubbing the bottom really hard. I was throwing it on 15 pound fluorocarbon, so I know it was getting a lot of sink to it, getting the full depth to it. Um, but very, very good crankbait. I really liked it. It bounced off the bottom really well. Um, I didn't have any problems with it whatsoever. Had a good hook set with it, and I was throwing that on this rod right here. This is an all-star rod. This is something you can purchase at Academy. And this is actually labeled as a spoon rod. But I like it for crankbaits, especially like lipless crankbaits. Um, it's, it's originally 7.6, but I broke the tip on it and I had it repaired. So it's probably more like 7.2, 7.3, somewhere around in there. Um, and it's a um, fast, moderate, medium action rod. So it has a lot of give in it, a lot of bend. that allows me to load up and get a really good cast with crankbaits like that. And also it allows that... Fish, it gives a little more bend in the rod so the fish ain't going to rip the hook out of its mouth as easy. Um, so I used that on the Rapala and I also used that on the um, uh, Arashi Flat. Sorry if I say that wrong. Uh, crankbait. Which is this one right here. Awesome color. Nice um, sexy shad style color. White and has a chartreuse line and a little blue back heron type style on top. Um, this is Storm, Arashi flat, 7 inch, that's not 7 inches though, 7 foot, oh, it's Arashi Storm flat, 
seven foot. So it's going to dive down to about seven feet. I think it says seven to eight feet. Um, it seemed not very, very true. I threw it down in the middle of the lake, around some brush piles, and was cranking it through there. That's where I got my good strike from that one. And I think the biggest one of the day will come off of that one as well. Um, again, so that's thrown in on that uh, seven. It's supposed to be seven six, but it's more like seven two, seven three, medium, moderate, fast action rod. Um, or medium fast action, sorry, yeah, medium fast action rod. Really good load up on the cast and uh, gives me a little more bend in the rod. Um, and then last but not least, we have the Lucky Craft RV Series Spinner Bait. It's kind of like in a tiger style color, very multicolor, gold blade, one single wheel lift blade on there. Um, it's got two rattles down here at the bottom, creates a little more action, a little more noise in the water. And I was throwing that one also on the Shimano Worm and Jig Rod. And the reason being is because this Shimano Worm and Jig Rod 7.2 is a 7.2 medium heavy extra fast rod. So it has a really sensitive tip in the top of it. Um, a really good backbone, but it has a really soft tip. It loads up really good for a cast. I was able to cast the spinnerbait pretty easily. Um, but yeah, it gave me a backbone that really just kind of almost real set hook real hooks at the uh, spinner bait because you know you don't want to try to rip the spinner bait or it's not like you're flipping or pitching you're not trying to yank the fish up out or anything like that when you feel him on there you just kind of want to reel down and gradually really give it a good yank but i mean just reel down as you pull back and give it a hard pull back um not really trying to blow the fish's mouth out open with that one so uh this 7.2 medium moderate or um, 7.2 medium heavy fast action extra fast action rod does a really good job of allowing me to cast giving me the backbone I need to set the hook and yet have enough give to it that it's not going to pull the hook out of the fish's mouth. Again, that's on a loose speed spool reel, uh, 7 3 to 1 gear ratio. That's a lot faster than I really would like for a spinnerbait. I like to slow roll my spinnerbaits a lot, so especially with this uh, 7 3 to 1 gear ratio reel, I'm really slowly cranking that so it'll take the bottom a little bit, uh, but it's successful. So, um, I also got some things over here I'm going to show you, just some little knickknacks that I picked up. I'm just going to dump these out here and show you what I'm looking at fishing here coming up. Um, just to kind of give you an idea of what kind of stuff I kind of buy whenever I go to the store. Um, summertime pattern. Got a Zoom Old Monster. Um, and this is in the red shad color. Again, big worms is a great summertime pattern. Texas rigging it, free spin, or free flowing weight, so you can drag the bottom almost like a Carolina rig. And then Gary Yamamoto's, and these are my favorite colors to grab in the Gary Yamamoto's. Um, this is a green pump, uh, pumpkin multi flake. It's got like purple flakes and green flakes and uh, blue flake in there, I think as well. So it's a multi flake, almost like a sprayed grass color. Then you got the uh, peanut butter and jelly color. This is proven successful to me. It's a tip given to me by somebody I work with, the Yamamoto's, and what color to get. And there's not been a lake yet where I don't feel like I cannot fish this color. So uh, that's the peanut butter and jelly. And then last but not least, this is Gary Yamamoto uh, baby bass color. It's like a watermelon and gold silver flake. This is going to be for more natural color waters. It's a little bit more transparent, translucent, see-through. Um, so this is something I'm going to be fishing probably in super clear water like that lake I walked down to the other day. And then I got some Zoom Baby Brush Hogs because I didn't have any and I didn't realize I didn't have any. This one's in a watermelon candy. Again, it's like a spray grass, more natural color though. So I'm just going to fish in some, maybe slightly dingy water. Um, it's a little more translucent. You can see through it. And it has that multi-flake in there, almost like a spray grass. And then this one is your traditional green pumpkin. Uh, anytime I buy a soft plastic, I'm going to buy at least one pack of green pumpkin. Then I got these Strike King Trophy, Laser Trip Bar um, Knuckleheads. That's what I tried on the uh, uh, beaver bait today from the Mystery Tackle Box. And this one is in a 3 8 ounce weight. It's just something that I can throw out on a soft plastic and drag the bottom almost like a football head. I can flip with it, pitch with it, that kind of thing. And it has this free flowing hook there. so. I can get the action I need out of it anyway. Um, and then last but not least it is another Rapala and I actually picked this one up tonight and uh, this one dives four to five feet and I just really like it. It's a really nice shad color into it. Again it has that blue back hair and almost like a chartreuse stripe down it and then a silver white bottom. Um, really big eyes which I really like. has really good details in it. I haven't got to fish it yet, but so we're going to see how this one does too. Um, I really like the Rapalo crankbaits. I haven't had any trouble with them. 
Um, it's just I don't usually spend that much money on my crankbaits, so I have it, I don't have too many of them. But yeah, that's gonna be it. I just wanted to kind of go over, kind of break down the lake, what we were doing, what we were fishing, what I was fishing with, let you know what I was obsessed with, how I was fishing it, and um, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you leave me a thumbs up if you did. Uh, if you're not already subscribed, be sure to subscribe to the channel. If you're not following me on any social media, there is a big flipping bass Facebook page. You can find that if you want to. You can also follow me on Instagram. And um, well, like I said, in all my videos, tight line to you, and I'll see you in the future.